Hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to do a quick kind of spotlight on the mod Genetic Animals. Um, so this is kind of going to be... Hold on, I gotta turn down my volume. That's really loud. Uh, this is going to be mostly in regards to my server, but some of the, most of this information is applicable... Applicable? Applicable to just the mod, you know, on its own. But keep in mind, I am making a modded Minecraft server, and so I have made some modifications to a few things. Um, we'll get into that. I'll let you know what's different from the original mod. <laughs> that cow. Goodness. Uh, I'll let you know what's different from the original mod when we get there. Um, but I do have a server. It's currently in beta, meaning I am adjusting the mods, adjusting some settings, adjusting some of my custom recipes. It's not done, uh, but you can join the Discord, link in the description, to uh, be possibly be invited to join beta testing if that's what you want. Um, currently beta testing is uh, closed, we're not accepting any more beta testers for the moment, but this video is going to be up forever, so who's to say? It might even, the server might even be done by the time you're watching this. So. All that to say, um, I, I want to show off this mod in, you know, its entire, well not in its entirety, goodness, I'm already losing my track, uh, but I want to show off this mod, uh, but some of the stuff I say is going to be semi-server specific to my server anywhere else. So, with that said, let's just show you what uh, animals, genetic animals adds. Um, it adds animals with genetics and cows that like to spin. I think their AI is still a little bit of a work in progress. They just recently made some changes and so the cows like to seek shelter. All, all the animals like to seek shelter and uh, this cow's very confused. <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. Um, let me just see if I can... Uh... Nope. That... That cow just wants to spin. Okay, so first up we have cows. Uh, now, there's pretty much limitless, uh, people might argue this statement, but there's a lot of different variations with each of these animals. There's a lot of different genes, there's a lot of different markings, there's a lot of different sizes and shapes. Like these horns uh, can be all different sizes and shapes. I really like uh, messing with the horn genetics when I'm breeding. Um, so, like, don't take the colors and some of the more malleable features to be like, this is what they look like all the time, forever. Uh, this is just what I happen to spawn in, and I don't really want to show you all of the potential genetics, because I think that's part of the fun, is just discovering them. Now, I do have a pen of cows over yonder that I may jump into before I end the video, so that you can kind of get an idea for some of the really cool cow colors. Um... But aside from that, uh, I'm basically, basically just going to show you the models and how they work. Because oftentimes people ask, like, how do you breed them? Uh, and so we're going to answer that. We're going to answer all of it. Um, so we have cows. I promise they don't normally do that. I don't know what this one's problem is. Uh, we also have mushrooms. So, you know, you can find those where you normally find mushrooms. Oh yeah, so these replace all the normal animal spawns, so uh, they, they spawn a lot like normal uh, Minecraft entities. So these spawn in the mushroom biomes, uh, and they work as far as I can tell just like mushrooms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I don't play vanilla Minecraft much, if at all, and I think I might have only found mushrooms once in my life. <laughs> And I think they were genetic animals mushrooms at the time. So um, I don't really know how mushrooms generally work, but you know, you shear them, they become normal cows, they drop mushrooms, you strike them with lightning, they become the other type of mushroom. Now we also have moo blooms. Um, so these are not part of vanilla Minecraft normally, unfortunately, because I guess they got outvoted. Very upsetting, but uh, several mods add them back in, and Genetic Animals recently, like just the other day, amazingly decided, hey, we'll just make Genetic Animals Moo Blooms. So you still need a mod to add the Moo Blooms. I use Buzzier Bees, um, 
So I was already using Buzzier Bees. I didn't even know they added new blooms uh, <laughs> until just the other day. Um, so now if you have to enable it in the configuration file, but these will replace the Moo Blooms that spawn with other uh, Moo Bloom mods. Um, I don't know all the different mods that add Moo Blooms that it's compatible with. I just know Buzz Your Bees. So uh, the next we have Sheep. Now, again, I, I want to be clear here. I'm not showing you all the different color variations. All of these animals have quite a few different color variations, shape variations, horn variations. Like this is just one type of horn. They, uh, I've seen at least three different types of horns, I think. Um, at least two. Minimum of two. Um, and they're not done. Like, they're going to be adding uh, the same type of horn uh, system for the sheep that the cows have. Um, but we're not going to get into too much of the details. But this is not the only color they come in. These are not the only horns they have. And more is even coming, because this mod is constantly being worked on. Uh, the makers of it work very, very hard. Um, and uh, so the sheep aren't done. No, I think you could say none of the animals are really done done. So there's a lot to be added, but even so, there's uh, quite a few. It, it, it's a wonderful mod. I love playing with it. So sheep. Now, the thing about sheep. Uh, well, we'll get into the mechanics. We'll get into the mechanics. Right now, I'm just showing you. Uh, we have rabbits. There's a lot of different traits that rabbits can have. They can be angora rabbits. They can be lop ears. Uh, they can be lion heads. Um, as you can see, some color variation there. Got a white one. Uh, this this grayish brown one is kind of the normal. Excuse my Discord messages. Uh, this grayish brown one's pretty much the normal wild type that you'll find, depending on where you are. Uh, white ones are very common in uh, snowy biomes. Oh, and we'll get to that uh, of bi biomes. Then we have chickens. That chicken has a fluffy head, and this one is really more the normal type of chicken that you'll find uh, generally in the world. And they are laying eggs, uh, but we will get to the mechanics in a bit. Uh, we have pigs. Oh, and this is a male pig, and that's a female pig, I believe. No, they're both male. They're both male. They both have tusks. Uh, it's just that that one's a lot smaller. Uh, there are fe female male size differences, uh, but there are also little differences like that one has tusks, and so does that one, but the females do not. So, and then we have llamas. All right, so mechanics. Let's get into that. We'll start back here at the end. Cows, uh, you know, in normal Minecraft, all cows give milk all the time. Actually, is there a cooldown? Is there a cooldown when you milk them? I don't remember. I don't play vanilla. Um, so how cows work is, oh, well, firstly, all of these animals have male and female. You can, so you have to, to breed, assuming you don't have omnigenders on, we'll get to that. Uh, assuming you don't have omnigenders on, you have to breed a male to a female in order to breed. Now, omnigenders makes it where you can breed anyone to anyone. So you can enable that. But um, if you don't have that enabled and it's disabled by default, then you have to breed a male to a female. These two cows are both male, so we wouldn't be able to breed them together. Um, but so once you breed them, they're pregnant for a configurable amount of time. And by default, it's um, 40 minutes, I believe, two Minecraft days. Um, once they give birth, they have discord messages all over the place lovely uh they have a baby and then you can milk them and you can milk them every day and they give differing amounts of milk depending on their genetics so you could get like several buckets or like one bucket i haven't really do dove too deeply into that because i just like breeding cows i don't typically care about what they give me <laughs> I just like cows. They're a lot of fun, especially when they're spinning like that. It's making me dizzy. Um, you also can breed them. So you can breed, you can selectively breed them so they give you more milk. You can also selectively breed them so they give you more meat or leather when you kill them. Uh, which I don't typically do because, again, I love my cows. But that's kind of cool. You can breed for different types. And I believe that it is set so that, like, the ones that give you more milk give you less meat. 
So you have your meat cows and your milk cows, but both, you know, any cow is gonna give you some meat and some milk and I guess some leather. I don't know if all cows, I just, I know in vanilla Minecraft, you don't get leather every time you kill a cow. Um, I think you get leather every time you kill a cow with genetic animals. Again, I don't like to kill them, <laughs> so I don't know for sure. Um, I believe, I. I don't know how mushrooms and and uh, moo blooms work as far as like milking or meat or anything, so we're gonna skip over those. Sheep also can be milked. Uh, same deal of you have to breed them, uh, and then they will give you milk every day. Uh, assume, oh yeah, I didn't say this with the cows, but you do have you have to milk them every day if you want them to continuously give in, give you milk. If the, I think the wording was, if the day ends with, and their udders are full of milk, then they will slowly stop producing milk. And that's the same with cows and sheep. Now, I don't know if my facts are exactly right. Um, uh, I'm sure that somebody can correct me in the comments. And I will probably make an updated video about this sometime. I just kind of wanted to make a video showing what's ultimately become my favorite Minecraft mod. Um, <laughs> like, I, I couldn't live without this mod anymore in Minecraft. I, I, could, I could live without it, but not, I couldn't play Minecraft without it. And my life would be missing <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful cows. Because again, I love my cows and it's lagging a little bit. That's fun. All right, so sheep can give you milk. Now, um, now this is an area that I'm not super familiar with. So bear with me, but not all sheep, I, I know this for a fact, not all sheep grow wool for you to shear and, and the sheep that do grow wool, uh, different genes give you different amounts. So some sheep, I guess, could give you like one wool maximum when you shear them and other sheep can give you like three or four. I think the max might be three. Uh, so don't quote me on the exact numbers. I'm kind of just giving examples. But yeah, there you can breed your sheep to have a lot, a lot of wool. I'll tell you right now, these sheep are not the wooliest I've seen. I have seen much woolier. Um, we could even, um, I see no reason not to grab a shear. One, yeah, I was gonna say that not very wooly, but I know that they can give at least three, maybe four uh, when they're at their maximum fluffiness. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, now here's the area that I'm not super familiar with because I don't typically kill these animals. Now I assume these drop mutton when you kill them. Um, I can't say I've ever killed a genetic animal sheep. Why would I? Look at, look at them. I mean, you know, uh, but if you kill one that is a hair sheep, meaning it does not grow wool, I think you get leather. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I thought I heard that in the Genetic Animals Discord. Um, speaking of, join the Genetic Animals Discord if you want to know more about this mod. It's a great source of information. I will post a link to the Genetic Animals CurseForge page and you can join from there if you so desire. Um, it's a great mod. I highly recommend you, you get it and, you know, learn more about it. Um, but I believe if you kill a sheep that is a hair sheep, uh, meaning it does not grow wool, you get leather. Um, so I assume that if you kill a sheep that is a wool sheep, you don't get leather. Um, so we'll just make that assumption. I could be wrong. Rabbits, I know nothing about their drops. I guess they drop rabbit meat and uh, I guess lucky rabbits feet are a thing, aren't they? I don't know anything about them. I don't deal with rabbits. For, I have real life rabbits. And the thing about me is if I have an animal in real life, I have very little motivation to deal with them in virtual form. So, you know, I'm pretty well satisfied with my real life rabbits, but I do love these cute little bunnies. I like seeing them when I'm exploring the world. Uh, they do run away from you. Um, you know what? I haven't actually messed a lot with the new AI since the last update, so I'm not going to say too much about overall the, the AI. Um, but they, they do typically run away from you. Uh, I guess rabbit leather, that's a thing that they drop, isn't it, in vanilla? 
I don't know anything about that. Uh, but I will say that you can get, like, giant rabbits and lop-eared rabbits and angora rabbits. There's a lot of uh, cool different things that you can get. Now, chickens. Now, chickens work a bit differently uh, than the other animals. Oh, all of these animals, up to, up to the chickens, get pregnant for a certain amount of time. It's configurable in the config file. Uh, chickens... You b feed them seeds, and then every egg that they lay, and only the females lay eggs unless Omnigenders is on. Every egg that they lay, after being bred for about two th or three days, I don't know the exacts, will be fertile, and then you can use it like a normal Minecraft egg. You, you hatch it with, uh, you know, by throwing it carefully. <laughs> um, yeah. Um... Oh, and the eggs are, are different. They have uh, their genes that make them lay different colors and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, so there's that. I guess if you kill them, they drop feathers. I do know that they can drop different sizes of meat. Um, here's all the different potential eggs. How cool is that? Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can. they can drop black meat. Uh I guess those are those fancy chickens that are just pure black. I'd love to get my hands on some of those uh, in the game. And then they can drop a uh, small, small meat. So, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know much about chickens. I'm sorry. I, I just recently started breeding them. Uh, pigs, um, you know, that you, you can do what you can do with pigs, you know, in vanilla Minecraft, except you can breed them, and there are different sizes and traits and stuff, and I think these have blue eyes. Um, I would guess that different sizes drop different amounts of meat, and I think the meat is the only thing they drop. So, that's all I know about pigs. I, lo I love them, I just, I don't know much about them. Llamas. Some llamas are, sh well, I think all llamas can be sheared, but only some will actually drop wool. So, see, they're, they're skinnier. Uh, but some llamas can drop wool. I think the llama I tried to shear, breeding cooldown, what? Weird. Um, the llamas I tried to shear the other day that I thought would drop wool didn't, and I, but I think that was might have been a bug that got fixed since then. So, um, they're always working on this mod, like, constantly. Like, every day it seems like they're making a change uh, and improving it and making it, like, the best mod ever. Uh, so, but that's about it. Oh, there are a bunch of di different traits in chickens. You can see those have fluffy legs. That one has a fluffy head. There, there's tailless. There's short legs. There's long legs. There's black beaks. There's black feet. There's black combs. There's so many different colors. Like, these look a lot like the default Minecraft chickens, but, like, there are different colors. So, like I said, I don't want to show you all of them, but... Okay, the next thing I want to address... We'll put those up. Is you can... Uh, get saddles. We'll grab my favorite saddle and my favorite bridle. Now, not all animals can be ridden, but you can, uh, you can ride the cows. Let's see if this cures this cow. There. Can draw, some of them can't jump over the fence, but there. There's a cow. So, we're, goodness, make me dizzy. So, um, I assume the Moo Blooms can also be ridden. I haven't tried. The Moo Blooms and the Moo Shrooms, yeah. They can. Just, oh! I don't know that that's supposed to happen. We'll uh, take a picture of that. Um, it's a bit of a different color. I like that color, but I don't think that's supposed to happen. Alright. Uh, now, you cannot put a saddle on a sheep, but you can put a bridle, and you cannot ride them. Um, I don't believe you can put either on a rabbit, but we'll try. Nope. I don't think you can put either on that. Um, now, the pigs, 
You can put a saddle on them. You cannot put a bridle on them. Uh, you can steer them with a uh, carrot on a stick, if I'm remembering correctly. You cannot jump, apparently. So, anyways. Um, now, the llamas, I believe, still have to be tamed. I, I, like I said, I don't play vanilla very much, but I think they have to be tamed in vanilla. Um, we'll see if we can... See if we can tame one real quick, because I'm gonna run out of time here. Come on! Be my friend! Be, be my friend! I don't even remember which one I'm doing. I think you can... Yeah, you can put a, a bridle on it without it being tamed. Oh, and you can even control it with... Okay. So, there. Tamed, tamed llama. Uh, now, the other thing that comes with genetic animals is uh, the collars. Now, there are just collars that are just collars. There are collars that have a little bitty iron ring on them, and then there are bell collars. So we'll go ahead and just grab um, all of these so that you can see the differences. works differently to apply it. So, you hear the little... Oh. Lag. One frame per... Wow. Little ding ding. There. That one's the one with the little diamond buckle. I chose the diamond because I thought it would stand out better. And it does. Looks pretty good. Um... And then we'll do the regular collar. So, yeah. And all of these are dyeable. Well, uh, I'm not going to get into that. That's a lot. Um, now, each animal has a different sound for the bell, I think. Maybe both the chickens and the rabbits are the same, but the different, um, the bigger animals are different. Hopefully that's coming across pretty well. Yeah, see, that's a, a bit deeper. Very high-pitched for the chickens and the rabbits, but just a little bit deeper for that one. Oh, now that one is going in a circle. And then we'll do this big one. Come on. There. Cowbell. Um, now, normally, uh, this is where we get into what's different about, like, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, there's also these posts. I really like building fences out of them because they just look really cool. So I'll make a fence like uh, this. And they're really for chickens to perch on. I think the chickens like to, to perch on them. Uh, but I'm not going to show that uh, because we're busy. Um, eh. Okay, so normally I think like only this one saddle has a recipe, but I added recipes for a bunch of them for the server. This is all server specific. Um, I think the regular collars uh, have recipes normally, but I added recipes for a bunch of them. Some of them are wrong, like this isn't supposed to need leather. Uh, so, you know, things are a work in progress. But that is, oh, they do also need to eat. The animals need to eat. They're not eating right now. But they will turn the grass into um, into sparse grass or patchy grass, um, and eventually into dirt. Pigs will turn it into farmland. Uh, you also can feed them this unbound hay bale, which is just a hay, um, and then. You use, like, shears on it. It turns into an unbound hay bale. Now, for breeding them, it is exactly the same as vanilla, really. Um, except there's pregnancy. So, you know, you feed cow's wheat, sheep's wheat, uh, rabbit's carrots, chicken's seeds, uh, pigs eat potatoes, car carrots, and I think beets. I'm, I can't remember. Definitely potatoes and carrots. And llamas eat hay bales. Um very expensive llamas. Um, yeah, that's about everything I wanted to show.
Um, you know, I to, to end things, let's run over here and I'll show you some cows. These are just a bunch of ones I was spawning in. Um, and here's some I was breeding. Oh, pretty color. Look at that. Beautiful. Goodness, that color is just beautiful. And then these, I think, are going to be really small. So, um, that's just a small sampling of the colors available. Like, I'm not going to spoil everything. There's a lot to, to find, um, and I hope you do. I hope you download the Genetic Animals mod um, and get to finding animals, because they're, they're so cool. They're, they really are. Um, if you want to join anywhere else, the server, um, it's meant to be a peaceful exploration, uh, farming, building server. So, uh, keep inventory is on, monster mobs don't spawn, uh, PvP is off, and you're just supposed to, like, I, you go explore, you raise and breed animals, raise crops, uh, cook food. We have mods that are a mod that adds a lot of different food you can cook. Um, or build your house. We have mods that add a lot of detail. Excuse me. A lot of detail to that. So check out anywhere else, but definitely, definitely check out Genetic Animals. It's a great mod. It, it's, it's worth it. It's worth the hard work of going to download it. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.